Hello everyone! Oh, oops, sorry, and uh, welcome back to more Shantae, and I'm an idiot. So, notice how it says left and right. I'm an idiot. I was hitting A and B thinking it meant the same thing. But then I remembered this came out on a Game Boy Color. What buttons were there on a Game Boy Color? There wasn't X and Y, which means A and B can't mean down and whatever. Behold, look at this dance move that we haven't seen before. And just like that, we are a monkey. It was the simplest thing ever. It's an epiphany I literally just had. And we're good to go. So, am I an idiot? Yes. Will I learn from my mistakes? Probably not. But hey, at least I know how to transform now. And it's actually way easier than I thought it was. Ow. Uh, so, yeah. So, the rest of this dungeon should be, uh... A breeze. We are very floaty. Also, I don't think we can attack in this form. Yeah, it's super floaty. Yeah, there's like no control over your character. Oh, shoot. What was that? Uh, okay, that shouldn't have hit me. You jump really high as the monkey. Alright, so... Now I just gotta remember where we had to go. Alright, so where was it that I needed to climb up again? I don't think it was over here. No! This is awful. Well, here, let's see where it sets us. Ah, oh, we're still the monkey. Perfect. This actually is going... What? Why did it set us back to Shantae? Well, anyways... Now that I actually... See, and the thing is, it's very misleading, because even the official instruction booklet, when, you know, that came with my copy of Shantae, says to practice by hitting A, then hitting B, and to combine the two. So in my mind, and then the next, ch the next phrase talks about the monkey dance. So in my mind, you know, A plus, you know, so, B plus A, which is down and right on the, uh, controller I'm using, that would be the monkey dance. Nope, it's the D-pad. Actually, wait, I wonder something. Alright, so the monkey's a little hard to control, and I don't know why. 
Alright. Oh, and hitting the dance button just brings you back normally. Okay. Alright, well, we're going to travel around this Shantae for a bit. Ooh. Ow. Little... Voila! Man, that is so easy. Come on, how do I get you? Okay, maybe I can. All right, it should be through here. There we go. I was uh, messing up on the timing a little. Wait, is there nothing here at the top? Oh wait, nope. Here we go. Oh, shoot! Do I have to, like, fight you? Are you, like, partially invisible, or... Like, what's, what's the deal here? Oh, are they both there? Oh, they are. Ow. Ooh, that was close. Come on. Come and get me. You. That was close. Give me some hearts. Ooh. Hey, we're finally going to be done with this. Wow, what is this place? Ah, what the hell was that? Not, not what I intended to do, that's for sure. Ho ho ho. The legend. What the. Oh, that's a G. I thought that... Is there G's just backwards E's? No, there's a little tail there. The legendary Dribble Stone. Mine for the taken. Why pour water into that steam engine when this thing will power it forever? What? Hey! Let me get some guardian spirit. Ow. Come on, Shante, I need you to attack. Okay, I need to stop jumping into it. Oh, did I win? Awesome. So, yeah, so for future note, definitely have to buy a lot of uh, hair cream that can, you know, restore health. Yo, nice. Also, that was a decent spin. Bolo! Oh. <laughs> Bolo, are you alright? She touched me. I'll never wash this head again. 
Are you nuts? She knocked you on your rear. Get up, get up. Tell me everything you know about this. Dribblestone. Hey, cool. We found a legendary relic. There are supposed to be four kinds of these stones. Each one represents a different element. The one you found produces an endless supply of water. There's also an unbreakable golem stone, a fiery simmer stone, and a very chilly twinkle stone. <clears throat> Sorry. Any idea where the others are? Not really. But the golem stone was lost in a desert near Oasis Town, according to my granny. Ah, uh, granny. She has eyes like shining emeralds. You worthless mop head! What? Jesus, Shantae! Can't you see that Risky is trying to upgrade the steam engine with these magical stones? It'll make the thing more dangerous than ever. I've got to get to Oasis Town before Risky does. I forgot how in the original, Shantae's just like so mean to Bolo. Like, just so mean, like, unnecessarily. I can't remember. Did I get the thing that was down here? I very much do like the uh, sprite animation in this. It's very expressive for how simplistic it is. It's very nice. Ooh, I bet you if I became monkey. Okay. Okay, brings me to the other side of the forest. Ow. Come on. Man, the monkey is hard to control. God, that is so easy. I can't believe I struggled with that. I guarantee you it's because I was tired. Alright, so like... Oh, there's a wall here. Interesting. Alright, hey, so like, what's the point of all this? Like, I didn't find anything up there. But this is like an enclosed area. Ah, here we go. Or not? I don't know. Maybe there's something like on the tree trunk? Go down at like a pipe or something?
interesting. Oh, you can crawl through the wood as Shantae. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll meet you back at Watertown. Here we are, at Watertown. So we are going to go and save. Yep. God, playing through this game, you know, without, like, on the Game Boy, without save states must have been hell. You know Mimic? That old critter is a relic hunter. He's been around for years, digging in the dirt. They call him Mimic because he makes copies of everything he finds. Wait, Mimic is not his actual name? But he's always known as Uncle Mimic. Ah, uh, there we go. What the? What are you talking about, lady? I'm filthy stinking rich. You know those dirt dogs in the scarecrow fields? If you chase them and smack them like crazy, they keep dropping loot. I don't feel bad about it at all. Oh, damn it. Alright, I will say, I don't really like navigating the towns. Like, at the, like, I'm assuming for the time, this was like, ma this was like magic, but also like, see, it keeps doing that. It keeps going into towns I don't want to, into shops I don't want to go into. What can I do for you? Restores a few hearts. What the fuck? Large vial restores all hearts. Alright, so apparently Hidden B... I'm so used to modern games where Hidden B is like cancel. Apparently Hidden any action button will hit yes. Five float muffins. Eat one for protection against pits not bad. Exit candy, useful for exit in labyrinth. That's also not bad. Ten flash bolts, attack from a distance. Double tap up for a two hit spin kick. Attack during a spin kick to drill through your foes. Hold down an attack to charge up the misty elbow dash. Attack during an elbow dash for a powerful twirl attack. That's a lot of stuff. Let's see, I've got no lives. I got two of those. Back at his gazebo. Have you been to Oasis Town yet? I'm sure someone there can help. Yeah, which way is it? Is your ponytail magic? I thought only half genies were born with quirky powers like that. I know a gal who could squirt milk out of her eye. Alright, I guess we're just going to head left. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, jeez. Get away from me. Alright, so dealing with some treacherous areas.
Okay. Ooh. I found Firefly. I can check my total on the subscreen. Okay, nice. go if I continue I'm brought back here but do I have my stuff I do not the game's actually kind of forgiven right when you die you, you know you get all your like it doesn't bring you back to like the state the state you were at when you saved it gives you full hearts and four lives no ugh. I didn't want to go to the bathhouse. I want to circle around to the item shop. Can we do that, please? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Why am I still low on money? Oh, shoot, I do have the vial. Wait, what? But I saved before. Huh? I guess it has some semblance of an autosave feature. Just not. But it still operates on a lives system. Interesting. Alright, well, uh, let's, let's try this again. Ow. Oh, wait, can I? Can I land on... Darn it. I keep thinking I can land on the stick as the monkey, and then I can just traverse through this whole area. Okay, the monkey should have grabbed onto the wall. That's that's literally the whole point of his existence, correct? Alright, just blitz it. It. God, I'm taking a lot of damage. But, like, the slow and methodical approach doesn't work either because half these enemies are, like, unkillable before taking half your health from you. Okay. Alright. Yep. Alright, so yeah, I know we didn't make a lot of progress, but we're going to end it here. Well, actually, wait, no. There is something I can do to kind of make up for it. I'm going to read some few excerpts. Uh, I don't even know if that's the right word. From the manual.
here are some of the characters. Shantae. She's the half-genie girl who set up shop in Scuttletown. Much to the mayor's disapproval, she wants to prove herself as a guardian genie, but has very few magical abilities to rely on. She's a spirited dancer with a strong sense of right and wrong. Mimic. This relic hunter has made many tremendous discoveries, including Shantae. He tries to keep a watchful eye on the trouble-prone genie girl, and is her closest thing to family. News of his steam engine brings Risky and her legions to Shantae's doorstep. So apparently, Uncle Mimic isn't actually related. I thought, I genuinely thought Uncle Mimic was like, well, her uncle. I thought she was related to, you know, Shantae's dad. Because as we all know, in, in this series, all genies are female. At least, I mean, that's what's heavily implied. I don't know if they out- they might outright say it in Pirate's Curse, but it's also heavily implied in, uh, what, what is it called? Seven Sirens? Yeah, that's it. Alright. Risky Boots. This lady pirate is known for her love of wealth, power, and all shiny things. She's a hands-on kind of gal, quick to pursue ways to increase the steam engine's power, and eager to thrash anyone who gets in her way. She commands an endless army of loyal Tinkerbats. Tinkerbats! These silent shadowy figures carry out Risky's order without question. Although not too formidable in battle, Tinkerbats can make just about an anything out of anything, or anyone. Bolo! Shantae's occasional sparring partner is an odd nut. He seems barely awake until his interest is sparked usually by the opportunity to hit someone, or something, with his bolo ball. Also, hey, I just want to point out that, like, the guy- all the guys in this manual kind of get shafted, right? Because, like, all the girls have, like, these full colored-in pieces of artworks, like, even the Tinkerbat has full colored-in artwork, and then you just got Mimic and Bolo that are just kind of, like, uncolored sketches. Uncolored, unfinished sketches. So, yeah, those, uh, that's a little bit of character descriptions from uh, an official manual. Well, partially official? Not sure. But, uh, yeah, so I guess, um, I guess Shantae and uh, Mimic aren't actually, like, related to each other. I 100% thought it was like a Uncle Chuck and Sonic the Hedgehog thing, where, like, you know... Like, yeah, obviously one's like an adoptive parent, but like they're relate they're biologically related in some form or fashion. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.